This example contains a simple data table, which we will use to demonstrate the ability of the TIPCO Spotfire professional client to pivot data. Our organization has 12 office locations, and each location exists in one of these regions, central, coastal, or western. Purchase amounts for office supplies were tracked for each quarter for two departments, marketing and sales. Our first data pivot goal will be to generate a data table which aggregates quarterly values to show the total purchase amount for each department. The resulting data table should represent the amount totals in a separate column for each department. Spotfire's pivot tool is made available during the process of adding data. Therefore, we will go to File, Add Data Tables. Under this Add button, you can see the complete list of available data sources. And we could pivot data as it is imported from data sources like files or information links. However, the data table of interest in this example already exists within this analysis. So we can add data from analysis and select this original data table. We will name this new data table Pivoted with Aggregation, and then we will show the transformations. From this list of transformations, we will select Pivot and click the Add button. This dialog allows us to define the pivoted data table we are hoping to generate. We want a row for each of our 12 office locations, and we want to generate separate columns for each department. The values in the resulting table should reflect the total amount. Note that while sum is the aggregation we want to apply in this example, in order to generate a total across all four quarters, we could select other aggregation options in order to generate a single value to represent the four values defined by these parameters. Because each location is assigned to one of the three regions, we could transfer region to the table. However, note that because the original data table has locations repeated for each quarter and department, each region label is repeated eight times per row. We should change this to represent each region only once by changing the aggregation to Unique Concatenate. Finally, before we leave this dialog, we should consider the column naming pattern. In these columns, the column naming pattern displays the selected aggregation method, represented by the percentage M symbol, followed by the column name for the selected values, represented by the percentage V symbol in parentheses. Then the word for, followed by the column title designations represented by the percentage C symbol. Another set of symbols are used to create the transfer column naming pattern. The percentage A symbol represents the aggregation method, and the percentage T symbol represents the name of the column being transferred. Let's edit this naming pattern to show only the column name by deleting all but the percentage T symbol. When we click OK and click OK, you may need to switch the visualization to a table in order to see the resulting data table. Let's edit the properties, appearance section, such that header row height occupies three lines. After you close the properties dialog, we'll insert a view of the original data table for comparison, and you can see that the new pivoted data table represents the sum of the quarterly values for each location in each department. Pivoting can also result in changes to the orientation of a data table without performing any aggregation. Let's return to File, Add Data Tables, and add from this analysis the original data table. This time, we will name the new data table Pivoted Without Aggregation. With the Pivot option selected from the list of transformations, we can click the Add button and select Location to identify the rows, Department and Quarter to identify the column titles, and select Amount as the values. Because location, department, and quarter uniquely identify each amount value, the aggregation is no longer necessary. Therefore, we will change the aggregation to none. The column naming pattern currently puts amount inside parentheses, which seems unnecessary without any aggregation. So we can edit the column naming pattern to remove the percentage M and the parentheses, and the resulting column names are cleaner. Finally, let's include region as a transfer column and don't forget to change the aggregation to Unique Concatenate. When we click OK and click OK, another data table is added to the analysis. So we can switch to a table visualization, hide the legend, close the filters and details on demand panels, adjust the visualization properties appearance of the table to show two lines for the header row height, and we can insert a view of the original data table in order to compare the two formats. You can see that the same values exist in both data tables. However, the orientation of the data has been converted from a tall skinny format to a short wide format.
In addition to the ability to perform pivoting operations using these client-side features, you may also elect to perform pivoting using the server-side capabilities. For example, let's assume that this same data table exists in a database and has been set up as a data source which is available as elements within the Spotfire Information Designer. We'll close the existing analysis and go to Tools, Information Designer. We'll navigate the folders in the library in order to access the individual elements for this data source. We can create an information link and add these column elements. If we save this information link as is, it will provide an opportunity to import the original data table from the database source. If we expand the conditioning section, selecting Pivot will automatically launch this Pivot Conditioning dialog. Just as we did with the client, we can add location to define rows, add department to define columns, and add amount with the sum aggregation method selected to define values. We will transfer region and apply the unique concatenate aggregation method. When we click OK, we can save this as a separate information link with the name Pivoted with Aggregation. Let's edit the pivot conditioning to include the quarter, change the column name expression to remove percentage %m and the unnecessary parentheses, and click OK. Then save as one more information link titled Pivoted without Aggregation. When we close the Information Designer, three information links are available and can be accessed under File Add Data Tables. We will add Information Link and navigate to the location in the library where we can select any of our three information links. In actual practice, we would select only the information link representing the orientation of this data table which suits our specific analysis needs. However, in this demonstration, we'll choose all three and click OK. No transformations are required since the information links already include the required pivot instructions. Therefore, we will simply click OK. We'll take the required steps to configure a page where we can see a view of all three data tables simultaneously. This process of creating multiple information links for the same data source configured with different pivot conditions allows your Spotfire users to select the information link which will suit their specific data analysis needs and provides that data table without requiring those users to employ the client-side transformation pivot capabilities. So whether you're an individual who needs to use the client to perform ad hoc data pivoting in order to solve your immediate analytical issues, or you are using server-based data access tools to configure a solution for a broader audience of users. TIBCO Spotfire has the pivot tools to create the required data tables you need to facilitate your analyses.